Zer's in the Winding Cove in the EDZ, and he's currently selling Sweet Business, a an exotic auto rifle. It's pretty good. Has 150 rounds in the magazine, and you can just shoot it forever, and it goes fast. It's pretty good. Um, it also does have a catalyst if you're interested in that. I'd recommend it just if you don't have it, but if you already have this, I mean, why why even get it unless you love Sweet Business? uh for hunters it's lucky raspberry unfortunate considering i hate lucky raspberry but the stats on it look pretty good 22 on discipline you like to see that uh i would put the the mod for recovery because 18 recovery would be pretty nice mobility is pretty pretty sad but this is definitely a good one for pvp at least for me uh you like to see a little bit more resilience especially uh just to block some certain combos <clears throat> If you, guys, if you guys don't know what it does, basically increases the chaining capabilities of Arc Bolt Grenade and has a chance to recharge it each time it deals damage. A full chain always recharges it. So if you throw this where there's a lot of enemies, most likely than not, you'll you'll get your grenade back. It's pretty good. Uh, I just hate that I keep getting this exotic over and over. So <clears throat> yeah, if you don't have it, I recommend it just to, just to have it. Uh, if you already have it. If it's not better than this roll, then I mean, why not pick it up? For the Titans, it's the ACD slash O feedback fence. It's an annoying, <clears throat> it's an annoying exotic to fight against because even if one of your friends hits the Titan, you'll probably get hit by this. So melee hits build energy being struck by a melee attack reduces incoming damage and unleashes the energy in a devastating explosion. It's more like chain lightning than anything else. Uh, <clears throat> the stats on it are pretty good. I mean, you'd like to see high, high recovery. Uh, if it were me, I would probably put the resilience mod so I can get a 14. So that way I can get my shield back a little or my barrier a little faster. But these are bad. These are pretty good stats. I would actually pick these up, but I don't use these a lot. So we'll see. And last but not least, Apothesis Veil for the Warlocks. Immediately regenerate health, melee, grenade, and rift with energy upon activating your super. Nearby allies recharge your class abilities faster. This is... Uh, I... I mean, like, obviously, like, if you don't have it, pick it up, you might never know. But I just... Like, why? Why? Why, why would I even do this? Like, wh why? Like, <clears throat> I don't understand... <clears throat> I just don't understand why I would ever want this, but the stats on it, uh, <clears throat> stats on it are pretty, like, mediocre. Uh, you never want mobility on a warlock unless you're doing a specific build. Resilience, you kind of do want, want to see that. Recovery, you always want to see, so the fact that it's at three is already kind of like, nah, you bugging. Uh, but yeah, these, this is pretty terrible stats, but if you don't have it, I recommend you to get it just because you might never know, it might get buffed in the future. And let's see what I get for this week. What did I just say? What did I just say about the Lucky Raspberry? I always get this one, so I don't know why. Bro, stop giving me Lucky Raspberry. Okay, I like this roll. I like this roll a little better. <laughs> I like this roll. Okay, so you're telling me... Uh, I'm... Dude... I kind of like this roll though, dude. What the fuck? Um, okay, yeah. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll link in the description below. I thank you for coming up to this point, and I'll see you guys later.